Hey, welcome to Blasted Science. In our last video, we showed you guys how to make rocket engines from scratch, but they're not very useful on their own. Now, we're going to show you how to make a rocket body that flies straight and higher than you'd expect. It takes less than a half hour, and odds are it won't cost you a cent. All you need is the tube from a paper towel roll, some cardboard for wings, some tape, and maybe some hot glue. The first step is to cut the tube from a paper towel roll lengthwise and cut some of it off like this. The goal is to shrink the tube so it's the exact same size as the rocket engines we made in the last video. Once it's the correct width, tape it back together. Now we add a nose cone. We've experimented with lots of different designs for these, and the best method of making them is to make a cone out of paper, cardboard, or tinfoil. The exact shape doesn't particularly matter. Keep it separate from the rocket body for now, you'll see why later. Before we add the wings, let's talk about aerodynamics for a second. The trick to making a rocket that doesn't, well, do this, is simple. All you need to do to make it fly straight is make sure the center of mass is located above the center of pressure. What does that even mean? Well, the center of mass is the point at which the rocket balances. It's the spot where you can balance the rocket on one finger. Make sure you're testing it with the rocket engine inside. That's slightly important. The center of pressure is where a two-dimensional cutout of your rocket would balance. Basically, there's an equal amount of area on both sides of the center of pressure. You can test it by making a cardboard cutout of your rocket and balancing that on your finger, but in our opinion, that's a waste of time, since you can usually just eyeball it. If your rocket design is fairly similar to this one, the center of pressure is probably just behind the start of the wings. Since the rocket engine is drastically heavier than the cardboard rocket body, it naturally brings the center of mass quite a bit backward, well behind the center of pressure. That's bad news, because it means the rocket won't work. What can we do to fix this? There are two options. We can either bring the center of pressure backward by adding big wings, or we can add weight to the front of the rocket to bring the center of mass forward. Or both. You almost definitely need to add weight to the front of the rocket, but don't go overboard. If you add too much, the rocket won't go very high. The ideal weight is somewhere around 140 grams, give or take 5 grams. This includes the weight of the engine, which weighs around 75 grams by itself. Just put rocks, dirt, or some other kind of weight into the nose cone and seal it in. It doesn't matter what you use for weight so long as it's heavy enough. Then just tape the nose cone onto the cardboard tube. Chances are the center of mass is still below the center of pressure, so we'll need to add wings. The wings need to be fairly large, and we also like to pull the wings backward so that they extend an inch or so beyond the end of the cardboard tube. That really helps put the center of pressure back as far as possible. The easiest way to attach the wings is by using hot glue, but it's also possible to use tape. Make sure they're on tight though, we've had plenty of rockets lose their wings on the way up. The end result should look something like this. Don't be afraid to experiment with weights and wing sizes, that's what we did. Next, wrap a few layers of tape around the base of the rocket engine. This just makes it thicker so that it sticks to the inside of the tube. Otherwise, it might fly out. Now, all you have to do is tape a straw onto your rocket and slide it onto some sort of launch pad. In our case, we're using a tomato cage. Give that sucker a light, and if you made the rocket correctly, it'll fly perfectly straight. Not necessarily straight up, mind you, but definitely straight in some direction. And now you know how to make a rocket body out of simple household items. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this one. If you want to know how to make the rocket engines we use, there's a video for that. Stay tuned for more videos on rockets and other experiments in the future. See you next time. Where's the anti-fire squad?